James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's January 1st, 2024, 1 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a very large earthquake over off the coast of Japan. We've actually had a large swarm of earthquakes, the biggest being a 7.5 magnitude earthquake came in as a 9 on the DYFI, came in as an 8 on the shake map. There was an associated tsunami warning. We will check for a tsunami. They have it at a default depth of 10 kilometers. I'd like to show you exactly what is going on over there. We've talked about all the nuclear power pl uh, plants being built right in that area. Very worrisome. Zooming into the area, we can see that this is a most impressive swarm right on a plate tectonic boundary north of Japan with basically volcanoes everywhere. These are volcanic ridges here. This runs right into it, as you can see. Uh, every bump that you see in the ocean is another volcano. And there's nothing but volcanoes on this ridge as well. Uh, we've talked about the nuclear power plants being built all throughout this area. And here on the island of Japan, which is unbelievable after the Fukushima incident that still has not been mitigated in any way. We can kind of take a look, 29 large, large earthquakes right there in that little bitty area over the last several hours. Unbelievable. The smallest one being a 4.1 that's being reported. I'm guessing there's a lot more than 29, but that's how many of the USGS are actually reporting. All right, jumping over to volcanosandearthquakes.com, we see a 7.5. Our main source is the USGS. We can also see that the French came in at a 6.9. Let's get some additional information and see how strong this earthquake and these earthquakes really are. Headed over to volcanodiscovery.com, we can... Well, verified that it was a 7.5 magnitude earthquake, at least the biggest one. Of course, today, January 1st, 2024. Taking a look at the earthquake details, we see that 167.6 atomic bombs worth of energy were released from this one earthquake, the 7.5, alone. There's considerable damage in Japan, and I understand that there was a tsunami. We're about to check that out right now. They are uh, issuing extra warnings with this quake. They say to expect fatalities and large economic damage. Not seen them do this before, but this was a large earthquake. A quick look at the area shows us that this was an incredible swarm. 29 is not the number, more like 129. We also had a 6-1, I believe. We actually have a hard number, 158 earthquakes in the last 24 hours in that general area. Wow. Here is data from all the reporting agencies. You can see the USGS on top there with a 7.5. The National Research Institute for Earth Sciences and Disaster, a 6.9. Back to a 7.5 with the Australians. The Germans came in at a 7.5. The Italians, a 7.1. Uh, Incorporated Research Institute for Seismology, 7.5. The Europeans, a 7.5. The French is 6-9, and China came in at a 7-4. I think that's about all of it. Heading over to the National Data Buoy Center, we see that we have four buoys in event mode currently. Uh, 
we did see a small tsunami created it doesn't look like it was anything substantial uh, this is station 21420 station 52401 station 21413 and to the north of that station 21419 have all been activated and are all indicating a small tsunami has hit all four of those buoys. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, it may not be over 158 earthquakes thus far. Uh, we're talking about several hundred atomic bombs worth of energy released in the area. Let's keep an eye on this area. I would expect these earthquakes to continue it looks like we at at best have a volcano awakening under this area please share please subscribe always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world